software update is complete. This is what welcomes you when you first time boot your device. Use Face ID with a mask. And that's it, iOS 15.4 beta is here. So I will show you what's new, what's improved. Let's just start. So let's start with the new things. First, Apple added a new widget for Apple Wallet and your Apple Pay. So let's hold for a new widget. And you will find now that you have that new wallet widget. It will show you your card balance and spendings by days. I don't have added Apple Card account, but it will look like this. Just your card balance and spending by days. That's the new widget coming with the new update. So Apple added. 37 new emojis in this beta update and you can check all of them here. Nice new catch, just Apple style. And let's go to the most important thing coming with this update. Here it is, if you are going settings, scroll down, select face ID and passcode. And now you will receive that option, use face ID with a mask. Face ID is most accurate when it's set up full face recognition only. To use Face ID while wearing a mask, iPhone can recognize the unique features around the eye area to authenticate. You must be looking at your iPhone to use Face ID while wearing a mask. Alright guys, that's what Apple right here. Let's just try to set it up. Just enable it and select use Face ID with a mask. How to set up Face ID? First, position your face in the camera frame, then move your head in a circle to show all the angles of your face. Alright, get started. And And now let's try with a mask, alright? I'm now wearing a mask, let's just try to lock my device and unlock it. And you can see it's just a lock even I'm wearing a mask. Let's try again and it's unlocked. Just to show you what I'm looking, here it is me with the mask. So Face ID is now working perfectly with a mask, alright, and you can even go in settings and add a glasses, let's tap on it, using Face ID while wearing a mask works best when it's up to recognize each pair of glasses you wear regularly, Face ID with a mask doesn't support sunglasses, so let's tap on continue and just Put your glasses, alright? So let's try it now with a mask and glasses, alright? I'm now wearing a mask and the glasses, let's just lock my device and you can see it's unlocked. So, Face ID wearing a mask and glasses is working perfectly. Apple also updated a keychain with additional features. So, if you are going in settings and scroll to passwords. So, when you are here, you now have the option to add notes. And, of course, you can add note to your password. For example, you can write And you will now have a note to your password. Let's tap it down. And here it is, the note. This is not a real password. So this is just like a password hint added in your iOS 15.4. Something else related with the password is that a new updated website which are supporting this feature now can use your face ID to authenticate you. So it is not needed now to enter passwords for some of the website which are supporting that features and you can just use your iPhone and your face ID to enter and log in the site. 
with this update you will receive new preferences for TV. So if you go in settings, scroll down and find somewhere TV, here it is. And if you scroll to the bottom, you will find now this device preferences and up next display. Allow TV shows and movies placed on this device to influence your for you recommendation and update your continue watching across your devices. And you have also these options, show sports scores, use play history and up next display. If you tap here, you will receive these options, steel frame and poster art. Choose the art you want to see in your up next watch list. Steel frame shows steel frames from what you are watching. Poster art shows my title images for shows and movies. And until we are in settings, we can go to back to the main page and find here Safari. Here it is. Scroll to the bottom. You receive advanced and here it is experimental futures. Tap on it and here are all the experimental futures from Safari. And if you scroll to the bottom, now you will receive that option. Reset all to default. Before that it was missing, but now it's here. Reset all to default. And that means if you enable some of the futures and you just forget what you are doing, you just always reset all to default and all default future for Safari will be enabled and you can start from the beginning to customize your browser. So if you are going in help and Apple also added here the future at, or at least for European countries to add vaccination records. So the help app now supports the European Union digital COVID certificate format. So you can add your vaccination record to the health and wallet apps in supported regions. Currently, most of European Union countries are supported, with the exception of Switzerland, North Macedonia and I think Liechtenstein. Of course, this is not everything new. Coming with this update, there is lots of bug fixes and improvements in this update. Of course, there is something which needs to be updated as always, but keep in mind that this is still better, not a daily usage update. There is new features not related only to iPhones. These are for example universal control. The iPad OS 15.4 beta finally brings universal control which was supposed to release last fall but was delayed. The future which lets you drag and drop files between the iPad and Mac or different Macs as well as share between them can be found in the airplane and handoff tab in the general settings. There you will see a new cursor and keyboard beta option. If you are wearing AirPods or other Bluetooth headphones and you receive a call, the quality of audio while it's playing the ringtone will be normal Bluetooth audio quality. The audio quality will only drop once you answer the call. Also there is something new for your AirPods when you open them. There is now left and right indication. iPad OS 15.4 includes a new keyboard brightness option that can be added to control center. For the notes app, you can now choose what happens for a left corner swipe and right corner swipe. The options are quick note, screenshot and off. So that's almost everything coming with new iOS 15.4 for iOS, iPad OS, Mac OS and wear os so guys if you like this video and if this video helps you somehow don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos thanks for watching again and have a nice day of course